Hi fellow crafters! Today's project was requested by one of my YouTube followers. She requested a card idea that uses watercolor pencils. So I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful watercolor background for all of your cards. I will be using a single wildflower element from the Quiet Meadow Bundle that will add a simple but elegant element to my card. You don't want to miss this one. If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing project ideas and techniques for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. <clears throat> Speaking of videos, be sure to watch all the way through my video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get going with these watercolor pencils. These assorted packs of watercolor pencils have high quality smooth colors. There are many techniques using watercolor pencils and I'm going to show you one of my faves. Now what you do need to know is both of these assortments are retiring because in the next annual catalog, Stampin' Up! is doing a color refresh and some of the colors in these two packs are retiring. But don't worry, in the next annual catalog, there will be two new assorted packs of watercolor pencils. So my advice is to wait until the new catalog goes live and then order them so that you, then you will have current colors to craft with. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Quiet Meadow Bundle. Now the stamp set includes flowers, background patterns, and greetings. So you can choose one greeting, flower, and pattern, or you can bring several of them together for a collage effect and to convey a positive message. What I'm going to be using is the thinking of you phrase. Use the dies to create the look of a meadow with wildflowers and beautiful blossoms. You can mix and match the pieces or use a single wildflower, which is what I'm going to be doing today, to create a stunning effect. So let's get going. When you're using watercolor pencils, my recommendation is to get yourself a pack of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. Specifically for today's technique, you don't want to use just basic white cardstock because the paper won't hold up to the color application that I'm going to be showing you how to create. From both of the packs of the watercolor pencils, I've chosen three colors. I've chosen Pacific Point, Balmy Blue, and Night of Navy. So I'm going to use a light to dark combination on my card, starting with Balmy Blue, then adding Pacific Point, and then finally Night of Navy. So for this technique, what you want to do is just directly color onto the watercolor paper. So I'm going to do sort of a third, a third, and a third. So there's my balmy blue. Then I'm going to add Pacific Point. And then Knight of Navy. You can add as much or as little color as you want. It's completely up to you. My suggestion is to play around a little bit and see what you like. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in one of my water painters. This is what you're going to need to use to create this background effect. So I'm just going to squeeze on the barrel where it says press, and I'm going to get the water moving from the barrel down into the brush. And then what I'm going to do is just start brushing water on top of the watercolor pencil that I have colored. And I'm just gonna keep moving down and moving down and all the way to the bottom like so. 
And what this has done is it has gone from the light to the medium to the dark to create a watercolor wash background. Now, to clean the, the brush, all you do is keep squeezing and coloring onto, well, I'm using a paper towel, and you'll see that the tip of the brush is stained, but that's okay because it's not transferring color. So I literally could go to a new color if I wanted to and use this painter and it'll be fine moving forward. So what I'm gonna do is set this aside to dry and then we're going to create some elements for the card. So I have a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. It's just lying around. And I've decided to use this single wildflower from the Meadows dies. And also in the Meadows dies, there is this butterfly. So I'm going to go over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'm going to die cut these two elements out. Now the next thing I want to do is take the thinking of you phrase and I'm going to ink it up using Pacific Point, and I'm going to stamp it down onto this scrap of basic white cardstock. And then, in the Meadows dies, there's also this frame. So I'm going to die cut that out next. My card base is going to be Pacific Point, and to that, I am going to now add this layer of watercolor paper that is ready to go. It's nice and dry. And I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere this to the front of my card. Now I have these two elements that are ready to go and I'm going to adhere them next. And I'm gonna do something a little bit unusual. I wanna tuck the stem of this wild flower through the phrase and I want to adhere it down like that so that they're interconnected. So again, I'll use my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'll go ahead and adhere this down and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. The next thing I want to do is attach my butterfly that I die cut out a few minutes ago. And I've put a couple of mini Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of just one side of the butterfly because I want it to look like this butterfly is flying away from the wild flower that I've adhered to the front of my card. All right, so it's coming along nicely. Would you like to see another watercolor card idea? Then why not watch this video next? Now the final element I'm gonna to add to my card are some of these heart pearls. I think they go along lovely with the message and I love the fact that there are some shiny and some matte ones and different sizes. This is an amazing pack of embellishments. Unfortunately, I think they're retiring as well. So if you like them as much as I do, you want to order them before they're out of stock. And there we go, the watercolor wash background is done and I think it makes this card a real standout. Are there products or techniques that you would like me to feature next? I invite you to leave me a comment so that I can make a video to show you how. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, head on over to my blog for all of this information. A link to my blog article in the description box under this video. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.